going on you guys so today i'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video in today's video i will be breaking down the best places to sell your cards off ebay so you can save on a lot of those fees and you can get your cards sold quite fast um but before we get into that i do want to say as you guys know i have my sports card invest membership program and recently we did launch our platinum membership program roughly i would say 11 weeks ago and we were buying you know a bunch of cards and Pretty, I would say around 50% have gone up either 50% or more. Um, there's been only, I believe, two cards out of around 35 that have gone down. And those have not gone down too much. And a majority have been, you know, significantly up. So if you guys would like to join in on our profit, um, click the link down below to sportscardsinvest.com. You can use code PLATINUM to get you 30% off at checkout. And we also have more affordable cards um, with the other membership programs. Now, we are buying these Kevin Durant um, PSA 10s for just under $2,000 just a few weeks ago. It's currently up to already $3,500. So that's one of our great high-end investments we made. Um, but before we get into the actual video, I did want to say one more quick thing, which is that we are hosting the Shea Gilgis Alexander Prism PSA 9 giveaway. Um, so if you guys want a chance, a free chance at a $70 card, um, you know, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram at Sports Card Invest. Um, subscribe to the channel and comment the word done down below. If you want a free chance at a $60 to $70 card, um, all you have to do is follow the, those three steps. We will be making sure that the winner um, is following on Instagram and subscribed. Um, and then we will go ahead and dish out the card to you guys. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and hop right into the video. So the first place we have that I believe is personally my favorite to sell um, is Facebook groups. You know, Facebook groups, some of these groups, you know, this one right here has 4.2 thousand members. There's some other groups that I'm in that have, you know, upwards of 20,000 members. Um, so if you guys want a full list of Facebook groups that I'm in, um, you can go ahead and DM me on Instagram at sportscardinvest. And I'm happy to dish out a full list of groups that I'm in. Um, but, you know, this is just one of the easiest places to sell you know, all you have to do, post, you know, anything, and you're going to have, you know, a good 1,000, 2,000 people looking at your posts, prospective buyers looking at your posts. So, for example, this guy over here posted, an, you know, this Byron Laura PSA 10 gem mint for $90, um, and, you know, there's everyone can essentially see it. It's a very easy, you know, place to do business however you do have to be very careful that you do send friends and family when you're or, what, that you do send paypal goods and services when you are buying the cards um because of course you know and secondly do not ship if you don't get your payment um just you know basic precautions you can do vouchers um if you're doing a trade you want the guy to get vouchers which essentially means you know people that can vouch for him that he's legit um a legit seller or a legit buyer um, but if you do your homework on the guys you're doing business with you know it can be an incredible place one to build relationships Two, to sell your cards, um, you'll eventually, like, I probably have around 100 to 200, you know, buyers who I know, you know, look for certain stuff. So if I have, you know, for example, a Kobe Tops Chrome, you know, I've built so many relationships with people that I could, that I probably know exactly who would want that card. Um, so it's very easy once you do build up your relationships, once you make transactions with certain people and it goes smoothly. Um, so definitely a great place to sell. Um, the second place that I love to sell is my slabs. Um, so it's myslabs.com. Um, you know, my slabs is a place where you essentially eliminate seller fees. It's an incredible platform. You have one percent seller fees. Um, so as you can see, all you have to do is you sign up and then you go ahead, go through a seller application. So they make sure, you know, they do a little background check, whatever it is. But if you sell a $3,500 card, you're, you know, paying $35 in fees. Um, if you sold on eBay, you know, you would be paying around $350 in fees. Um, so right off the bat, you're saving a good 9% from fees. Um, you know, just a very easy place where you find a lot of great buyers, great sellers. Um, and then you have protection when you buy. You have protection as a seller. There's no refunds. Um, when eBay, obviously there are refunds that, you know, they could try to place on you. If the card goes down in price, the buyer could start to try to, you know, open a refund case. But that's not the case with my slabs nor Facebook groups um, if you do it the right way. So definitely a great place to go ahead and sell your cards 
you're selling, you know, a $55 card, you're paying 55 cents in fees. Um, so it's just an incredible place. You do have a little bit of PayPal fees as well, um, but it's very minimal compared to eBay, and you pay those fees with eBay anyways. Um, so I personally don't see why. You know, what I personally like to do, honestly, is I post up my cards on each and every platform. Um, and the first one to sell, you know, I sell it with, right? So if I post it up on Facebook, my slabs, and the other places I'm going to get into, um, you know, whichever sells first, it's the easiest. Because if you might as well get the most people looking at your card as possible, because that's the highest chance of your card selling. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to hop into the next place. And this is essentially for graded cards. So I post up all, all, all my graded cards on here, um, you know, on StockX. Um, you know, they do have steep fees. However, the one thing I absolutely love about StockX is there's absolutely no returns. Once the guy has bought your card, there is no backing out regardless of if the card tanks, if the card goes up, and it's all anonymous. Um, you know, you ship it to, seller ships it to StockX. It gets authenticated, and as soon as it's authenticated, you know, you get the card. So if you want to sell, um, you could either sell to the highest bidder. Um, you do have some steep fees. I believe it works out to around 7.8 to 10%, depending on the card. Um, so as you can see right here, if I was to sell it for $25,000, $100, um, I would end up with around $23,100. So, you know, not the best, not the worst, but considering if you're going to sell on, you know, and all you have to do to place an ask is, you know, just place your ask, right? Um, so you click place ask, and then, you know, it's in. So you don't even have to post pictures. It's a super convenient place. I would just click next and then post up that ask. Um, so it's a super convenient place to sell. Um, you know, you do have those fees. It does take around two weeks for you to get your money. Max two weeks. I'd say one to two weeks. Um, but a great place to sell your slabs for sure. Just post them up for sale. Um, even if it's a little bit above market, chances are you're not competing with many people when selling because not many people use this place to sell. Mainly people look at, use StockX to buy your cards. Um, so if you just post up and ask, Chances are, you know, there's a, always a chance it sells, so why not post it up? You get more people looking at your card. Always a good thing. Um, and then for BGS 9s, it comes in clutch to sell on StockX because the buyer does not know the subgrades. Um, so you could occasionally get higher prices, um, you know, compared to if you went on eBay and if you had, for example, a BGS 9 with bad subgrades, 9 centering, um, you know, you could post that up on StockX and if it sells, you know, the buyer, for all he knows, he could think it's a true gem. Um, or he could, you know, you, no one knows. Um, so if you have a poor grade of a BGS 9.5, you can sell it on here and get a little bit more than you would on eBay. So that's another place I love, you know, to sell on. Um, and then another place is Starstock. And Starstock is, of course, mainly for ungraded cards. Um... That's where I found the most success in Starstock. Um, you know, if you do have good conditioned raw cards that, for example, you do not want to sell or you do not want to grade, sorry, um, you can go ahead and sell them on StockX. So, for example, we're going to take a look at this. So, Trey Young's ungraded card um, in a Starstock A, which they believe to be a PSA 9 or 10, is selling for around $150 is the last sale. Now, if we look at that same card on eBay, if I was to post that card up on eBay, um, sorry about that. All right, so if we were to post that card up on eBay, let's see roughly what we would get. Um, so it's a $150 card. You do have 5% fees, um, but look at this right here. $60 because people don't know what condition ungraded cards they're getting. If you if these are star stock A's, if this ungraded Trey Young is in fact in good condition in a PSA 9 or PSA 10 condition. The seller, instead of going on eBay and getting 62 bucks and paying 10% fees and getting 56 bucks, they could send it into Starstock if Starstock believe it, believes it's in good condition. Even if it's a Starstock B, this is a PSA 7 or 8. If it's a PSA 7 or 8 condition, you're still getting more on Starstock than you would get on eBay. Um, so that's, I don't see why you, you know, you would sell ungraded cards on eBay instead of star, star stock if it's in good condition, especially, 
you can get three times the price if you sent it into Starstock. Um, so definitely, I recommend you do that. Um, it does take around six weeks from when you when they get the card into. Um, put it into your collection. So that is one thing to keep in mind. But regardless, you're getting three times the price if it's in good condition. eBay is simply not the place to sell um, ungraded cards or graded cards. Um, you know, so I definitely recommend Starstock for ungraded cards. You know, there's for a little like I would say very niche cards. Um, so for example, a hockey card, a very rare card. Comp C could be a great place to post your card up. Um, so as you can see right here. Comp C has a bunch of just variations that you would never find on eBay, that you would never find on Starstock, StockX, Facebook groups, but you can find them on here. Um, you know, this is a great place to even buy cards, such as, you know, a Shaq 2008 Topps Chrome. A lot of these ungraded cards do very well on Comp C. Um, so I definitely think, you know, this is a great place to buy and to sell. Um, you know, obviously... I would say fees are a lot less than eBay. Starstock fees are half the half of eBay, um, so still some fees, but you know definitely not close to as much as eBay. Um, so all these places are great to sell. I use all of them personally. Um, you know I don't see why you want to at least post all your cards up. You know if I have a Shaq, you know 2008 Topps Chrome Refractor, I would probably post it up on eBay, Facebook groups. Um, and Comp C, if I had, for example, a Trey Young PSA 9, um, it would be good to place it, you know, place it for sale on Starstock, MySlab, or StockX, MySlabs, Facebook, and eBay. And whichever sells first, I would usually sell to. Um, but great opportunities here, you know, when selling, just to place it, get as many people to see your card as possible. That's always the best thing you could do. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys got anything from the video. I really hope you guys did. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and comment the word done to enter into the Shea Gilgis Alexander PSA 9 giveaway. But other than that, I'm out. Peace.